to the first day of the B12s here on the Sintra channel. Yay! It's hosted by me. I've gotten a lot of requests over the last four or five years now about how exactly I put a GA16DE twin cam engine in a B12 Sintra. And so I'm going to... This is part one, by the way. I was, I'm going to do two parts because I really wanted to point out each part that you need as well in my car. But it's currently raining outside. It's been raining all day, so I'm not going to go out there and pop the bonnet in the pouring rain. I'm sorry. So next week will be part two, which will actually have me filming and pointing to each part that you will need so you have a visual reference of what I'm talking about. So this part, I'm just going to sort of talk about what you need to make the swap, how intensive it is, and all that. First thing you need, this is uh, also another disclaimer here, which I know it's two disclaimers already. I'm doing this for the second generation twin cam engine, that's 95 plus OBD2, which is a coiled in distributor as opposed to a coiled to distributor as well as a whole different wiring system. So the second generation swap is much more difficult than the first generation swap. I will make that point. But you get more horsepower, less engine miles in most cases, and I think probably easier parts to do find because it's a newer type of engine. So first thing you need obviously to do this swap other than having a B12 Sintra, is a GA16 DE engine, 95 through 1999. I would suggest you get an engine prior to 1999 because the wiring system for a 99 is only available on a 99. The ECU is only available on a 99. So I suggest you get something previous to 1999. Second thing you need, obviously, is a GA16 DE ECU. You'll need an ECU, I suggest, for the year that your engine is. If usually if you buy an engine off someone, you can use like the ECU as well. If you get a running engine off eBay or scrap it or whatever, you can usually get the ECU as well. Um bit of a disclaimer, if you have an automatic car and you want to keep it an automatic car, you have to get the automatic ECU because the ECU is what controls when it shifts gears. However if you have a standard car, a manual, you can use an automatic ECU or you can use a manual ECU. It doesn't make a difference for manuals. The next thing you need is an engine wiring harness. Once again, preferably for the same year as your engine. I got a 99 engine. I have a 99 wiring harness and I have a 9... Oh, excuse me. I have a 95 engine. I have a 95 wiring harness and I have a 95 ECU. It all works together very well. Next thing you need is a GA series transmission. If you're doing the swap from a GA16i, which most of you will be, just keep the same transmission that came in your car unless you wanted to do a manual swap. If you're on the E series and you need in your upgrading to a GA series, you have to get a GA6 series transmission. And if you have an E series, you will have to change out the hubs and CV axles. You'll have to do it. They're different. Or so I've been told. Disclaimer here as well, if you are going to use a 91 plus transmission, you will have to get 91 plus CV axles and 91 plus hubs, whether or not you are in a B12 with a GA series or B12 with an E series, because the 91 they completely changed everything. Another important thing that you have to have, and I didn't discover this until the very end, is a B13 plus accelerator cable. The B12 accelerator cable, being throttle body fuel injected, is too short. You have to go and get a B13, at least a B13 accelerator cable. I suggest you go ahead and take the whole pedal because it's easier just to unbolt the pedal and pull it through and unbolt the cable from the pedal and then from the throttle body and then pull. It's easier just to take the pedal. Very, very, very important part here. GA16i passenger side engine mount. This is the engine mount that bolts up alongside the cylinder head 
and down towards the block. Very important, the 91 plus centers have a different passenger side engine mount than the 90 pre centers. Now the GA16i has the same, I believe, passenger side mount as the E-Series. I'm pretty certain you can use the E-Series passenger side engine mount as well, but don't quote me on that. You'll have to grind, take a cutting wheel or a grinding wheel, and you'll have to trim out a bit of the mount. And I'll show you this when I do part two. I'll actually show you what you have to do so that it clears the twin cam head. And I have this one on my list. I myself didn't have to do it. It's a GA16 fuel pump. I kept the GA16R fuel pump. Uh, I know Blown B310 B kept the GA16R fuel pump. I don't know about Best B12 in Jersey. I don't know about the rest of them. Um, but if you have an E-Series, you'll have to upgrade to at least the GA16R fuel pump. It's just that simple. Sorry. You have to. That's essentially the very, very minuscule list of things you'll have to do. Obviously, if you have an E-Series, you're probably going to have to go ahead and get different shift linkage. I'm not exactly certain on that, but I think it's probable you'll have to get different shift linkage and different engine mounts completely. But I don't know because I haven't done this swap in an E-Series. On Sunday, when Steve posts, he's going to talk about his idea on how to turbo a GA16i. He's got some very interesting ideas. I've been talking to him quite a bit about that. So pay attention to that. This is just sort of a, a first part video. And I'm sorry that it's not better. I really wanted to go ahead and point out everything you needed and, you know, all that. But I can't because it's raining outside. It's going to rain, I think, all this week. Because of all the hurricanes coming up and such. So I can't do that. So this is the best I'm going to do. So just stay tuned. Um, I don't know if AKX is going to post on Thursday. I believe, I don't know if Jerry's going to post on Friday. I don't know yet. I haven't really talked to them that much this week yet. I do believe Steve's going to post on Sunday, so look forward to that. Thank you for tuning in, and if you haven't subscribed, do it.